IDS 301. Good morning. How you doing? Um, I wanted to keep this dark for a second because um, you can only guess where I, what's behind me there. If you can hear it, I'm going to show you because, frankly, hey, I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the Pacific. I am up, way up in the Monterey Peninsula at uh, the uh, Asilomar uh, Resort Conference Center, I guess it is. Um, I don't know. This has been a bucket list thing for me for a while. <clears throat> so I thought I would uh, come up here, take a drive this week. It's been great. Um, but enough about my vacation photos. Let's get into module six, your last module of this session. Congratulations. A couple of housekeeping issues I wanted to <clears throat> touch on <clears throat> is um, uh, check your points. Make sure, you know, you know where you're at. Make sure that, um, you know, I got all your videos that you sent in, points for that. Make sure that um, you know where you're at. Remember, 900 points and over gets an A, 800 over gets a B, 700 over gets a C. Nobody's going to get under 700, right? Right, right. Uh, so um, if you have any questions about any of that, let me know. Plan accordingly, all right? Um, we've, get, we've given you enough opportunity for extra credit, too, I think. Um, all right, so let's see. Um, due dates again. Um, uh, I think I've managed to keep them going well if you if you feel confused by due dates i wish you wouldn't because um i've moved them back is what i've done i've never made them closer ever never 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 always move them back okay so always go by the latest date that i said or that it's that's it's in the due date listed okay we're not going to have any don't worry it won't be any conflict about due dates okay frankly i if you've turned things in late you know that for the most part I don't ding you, okay, if you've told me about it or whatever, okay? So let's just calm down about due dates. It's okay. Please don't. I mean, you'll probably write my evaluation, all that stuff. But, uh, hey, uh, the bottom line is I don't uh, ever move anything closer. I always move it back, all right? Um, <clears throat> okay, so a couple of things. Uh, there's still a lot of line gaps and things, you know? Um, you guys don't know how to do paragraph indents. You don't have to make line gaps between everything. So please, you know, try to, you know, get used to paragraph indents. All right. Um, I also want to talk to you about trying to keep yourself out of things. Unless the question or the project or the paper is specifically about you, you should learn how to write in third person. Okay. You should learn to take the material you're getting information from and use that. Uh, it's an important way to do things because you didn't come to college um, to just disseminate what you know and then get a degree. You came here to integrate your knowledge with new knowledge and apply that new knowledge, okay? And so just keep that in mind. Um, let's see. Uh, I think I did the um, your uh, your discussion boards for the debate. Um you did not mention integration in your main post, I would, I don't know why, but you're, you were debating the pros and cons of interdisciplinary studies. And what's the key feature of interdisciplinary studies that differentiates it between other fields? That's integration. So if you're not mentioning integration at all in your main post, then how are you adequately analyzing or critiquing this field? Okay. Not only that, I mean, you should know by now, right? Um, so, Easter egg number one is IDS equals integration. We're going to get you there. All right. All right. So, now, by, all, by, by this time, you probably think the, the field should be called integrative studies, right? With all the integration, integrative studies, blah, 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 blah. And, again, I'm going to, I'm going to emphasize and try to nuance this for you. Um, interdisciplinary studies is an academic field, a scholarly field. It works with the disciplines, okay? So it's not a jack of all trades, master of none. You're, you know, that has nothing to do with it. It has nothing to do with multitasking, okay? Anything with multi means multidisciplinary, okay? So it's not jack of all trades. Um, <clears throat> if anything, you're going to be jack of all trades, master of integration, all right? But I didn't want to go there because the difference between Integrative studies and interdisciplinary studies is interdisciplinary studies is a 
field, okay? It's a field of knowledge. Integrative studies is learning about the process. Boy, it's so dewy up here. It's not a, it's not a dry cool, I'll tell you that. Um, it's uh, integrative studies. Integration is the process. Integrative studies is studying the studies of the process, the application of it, okay? The field is interdisciplinary studies. It kind of sits over that, all right? Um, again, I, I just want to make that emphasis here, okay? So let's go with um, Module 6. Now, again, I'm not going to go through this. We've put up a very self-explanatory course, I believe, the uh, overview in Module 6. Very thorough. Excuse me. It's early. It's about 7.20 in the morning. I'm going to uh, head out. Got my camera. I'm going to head out and shoot some shots before I take off today. I'm going to head through Monterey, the Pebble Beach Peninsula. Hey, if you're a Starbucks barista and you're up in this area, um, I hate you. No, I'm just kidding. I think I'm so jealous. This is a beautiful place to be. Uh, I wish I could stay up here. I came all the way up the Pacific Coast Highway through Big Sur, went to the Elephant Seal Colony. Uh, okay, so learning materials here. It's Tanner, chapters 13, 14, and 15. Focused on job hunting, interdisciplinary portfolios, interdisciplinary resumes, and grad school. Take the Myers-Briggs test that's linked here. It's important. You're going to hear people use a lot of that. I'm an INFJ or whatever, okay? Figure out what that is. It's kind of important. Take a look at this stuff. I know I've got some mature adult learners in this course, and that's great. I was the same way. You can cruise through that job hunting thing because, you know, typically our job hunting is a little different than if you're in your 20s, right? Um, supplemental materials, keep it on hand, you know, just to take a look at those supplements uh, and that. Okay, your first uh, discussion board is about job hunting. All right, you can figure that one out. Your second one is about the mission and vision exercise. We really like this one. We really brought it along. Um, again, I think interdisciplinary studies, there's a lot about how you think, about critical thinking, about analysis, about seeing things. Um, so, you know, interdisciplinary studies, well, how do we see it out there? Anybody remember the Ford Pinto? I know some of you do. Okay. I don't think they did a lot of interdisciplinary, uh, analysis and research on that vehicle. Okay. How about, uh, new Coke, new Coke, uh, you know, it was something, and these aren't just products who's ahead of their time. Okay. These are things that want, want, want. Okay. I think what I'm thinking about. Walmart neighborhood markets it seemed like they weren't happy enough with the super big box. They were just going to nail, go local. And I hope that, I don't think that worked out in many locations I saw it close. Um, so anyways, this is a good exercise for your mission and values. I'd like to see a nice, uh, um, you can see the, uh, uh, blah, 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 increase your point total, the increase your point. Okay, I'm going to, okay, there's not a word minimum on this one because it's a worksheet you got to be thorough. I'm not going to buy it if it's, you know, you're just going to have a disappointing score if it's just nothing there. Okay. Then there's another quiz, your module six quiz, March 1st. Then you've got ponderings. That's, oh, it's three discussion boards, this module. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be good. Um, and, uh, and then there's your portfolio. If you're doing one for extra credit, uh, it's, it's an interesting way to total things up. Uh, you're going to see there's a reflection here, but um, the course evaluation is going to be starting to come out in a week or so for you guys. Please fill it out. It's very important, especially for this course. I'd like to hear about what you're saying. Yes, if you're going to beat me up personally, I understand, or professionally, but um, this course, uh, we did a lot of work to put into getting something out of it. We wanted to get something out of it, okay? Um, we upped the ante on this course. We made it more rigorous. Um, I'm really impressed about how everybody's doing. I really am. Um, I talked to Michael Price Dia, my colleague who designed this with me and, 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 you know, he goes, you have that many students getting A's? I go, yeah, they're just, they're just rocking it, man. He goes, did we make it, you know, rigorous enough? I go, I think we did. I think people are paying attention to it, you know, and they, they want to get more out of interdisciplinary studies. So very happy about that. Thank you so much. Um, uh, this is the last video of mine. I believe you're going to see, um, if you're in my 302, hey, good to see you. You don't have to buy another book. Um, if you're not, I wish you really a lot of luck and where you're in which there's a great, some great 302 courses out there. Um, I uh, want you to, um, you know, 
you know, the old namaste. I want you to find peace and happiness, how you define them, not how I do, not how your parents do, not how your friends do. You get to decide, right? That's pretty cool. I don't even have that written down. That's just coming from here. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's that environment here. You know, this is almost religious. So let's go with the, um, last Easter egg and, um, Let's call it Big Sur, right? Because I, yeah, I, I'm fired up about being here. <clears throat> I'm on my way, heading back to Tempe later today. And you guys take care. Um, forks up. Peace.